the moment I turned 18, my release was there at the bottom of a pint. My really, you know, bottom of a bottle, I had the release. And I drank. And I mean, I drank for about a year and, about a year and a half. Mm. And it wasn't, I had to get drunk. I had to not know who I was. I didn't want to know who I was. I didn't want to know what had gone on. I had to forget about it. I was binge drinking quite a lot. You lost yourself in I alcohol. just lost, I lost myself in alcohol. My al the alcohol was my escape. Just to get in the petition out, we could end up saving another family's child. We could end up, for me, I could end up saving someone's sibling. And that sort of pushed me forward because I know how hard it was to lose a sibling and everything I went through. And I didn't want someone else to go through the same pain. And the new Prime Minister's in now. We've had no contact off her, no nothing. And I feel like the government, that part there, has let people down. Not just me, but other families who have gone through the same situation as us. I do feel let down because they haven't carried on where he had left off. Nobody has contacted us saying we are still trying to do stuff for children, trying to protect them. No one has contacted us at all. I've got to start again from the bottom. And it was hard work the first time, but it's going to be a lot harder this time around. Yeah. I promised a long time ago when April went, if I can help another family not go through what we've been through, this hard work has been worth every minute of the day gone by doing it because what we're going through and have been through have been hell. Pull your socks up and help us to get this law and protect the children. If you don't protect them, who is going to protect them?